Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another King of Fighters reaction video. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. Tuesdays are usually the days and at nighttime for me that SNK has been dropping new trailers. Um, so when one didn't come out yesterday, I was thinking, ah, oh, maybe they're just not going to do one this week. I was completely unprepared. <laughs> for the sudden arrival of the trailer today. Uh, so this came out like I think about an hour ago. I just found out about it and I'm excited because apparently this is the trailer for the other new girl. So I've been really waiting to see uh, what she's like, a little bit about her character, what her moveset is, because she looked really cool but we don't have really any information on her yet. Um, the last new girl character, Isla, really, really caught my eye. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe this is going to be another really cool one. So we'll see. We'll see. But um, all right. So SNK just confusing me with my filming schedule here as always. But I'm excited. So that, uh, I mean, they put the trailer out. So that's what matters, right? So let's check it out together. Here we go. Expectations. Yep, I'm ready. Oh. Holy shit, she's gorgeous! <gasps> what was that? Okay, hang on a second. Okay, that was it. And all right. So first of all, I feel like we didn't get as close of a look at Dolores as we maybe did with some of the other characters, especially the other new uh, girl character, Isla. Um, but that's because this was also a beta announcement trailer. Holy shit. Okay, um, so I really want to talk about Dolores, but first just quickly, there's a beta coming out and in like about a month, actually less than a month in November. So I'm really excited about that. And they're gonna have a handful of characters. They're gonna have online casuals that you can play and they're gonna have an offline training mode to practice, which is great because sometimes you uh, get to try out a, a beta and they don't give you the offline training option. And you're like, what? How am I supposed to like actually look at what my character can do and get a feel of them? So I'm really happy about that. Um, it'll give us a lot more uh, practice options and get a sense of, of, of the mechanics of the game a bit better before we actually go into to playing with people online. And yes, I'm definitely going to be doing that. I'm going to be playing the beta as much as I possibly can. And they showed off who the characters in the beta are and Dolores is going to be one of them. So we'll get to see some more for then. But I'm looking at the list right now and this is interesting because they had a, a demo that a certain, like a, a handful of influencers were able to practice and play in Japan. Um, and these are entirely different characters. Well, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, they already let some people play with say like Athena and Isla. So we have some footage of them out there, but look at this. We've got completely different, we've got Shermie 
you could actually play with Shermie. That's a surprise. So, I mean, this is going to be definitely a interesting experience. Um, and then, all right, so let me get back to talking about Dolores quickly, too. Like I said, we didn't get to see her quite as much as we did with some other newcomers. So I still want to see more, and I'm going to have to go back and watch the trailer a couple times to get a better sense. But one thing I'll say is, from the way she's talking, I'm curious if she's going to be, like, the big bad, or one of the big bads, so to speak, or what is going to be going on with her. Is she actually on a team, or is she, like, one of the final bosses that you're going to have to fight against? I think it's definitely possible it's the latter, but again, we'll see what happens. But she looks sick. She looks amazing, just visually, to start out with. Her outfit, her hair, everything, of course, is fantastic. But you see her tattoos? She's got some pretty sick tattoos and like around her waist area and I don't know. Like like you guys, I'm tattoo girl, so I'm pretty excited that both of the new girls have some tattoos going on. That's pretty nice. I like it. Um, but then her moveset also seems really interesting. So it seems like she's manipulating some things uh, using a variety of different elements. Um, and there's definitely some usage of, of land and rock, and it looked more like sand as well, so I'm curious if there's some sort of connection to Kukri. But yeah, I really don't know, but her moveset seems pretty interesting. I'm definitely going to try her out. Like I said, I got to look at her more, but I will definitely be using her uh, during the beta, so... I'm really excited. I'm hyped. Uh, how about you guys? Let me know how you're feeling about this. Um, did you expect this trailer to come out tonight? Um, what do you think about Dolores? Um, her moveset, her appearance, you know, if you have any thoughts about her potential storyline and whether she's going to be a boss character. Um, and are you excited for the beta? Are you going to play the beta? And are you surprised about the characters in it? Which characters you want to try out? Just anything, any thoughts you guys have, just let me know. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Just a few weeks. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.